Hello, welcome to enamel workshop. I needed to make some enamel bridges. This keeps your wrist over your workpiece so that you don't really have to hold your entire arm up when you're working on a larger piece. Uh, my wrist has really have been bothering me and I need to work on a larger item so I need to have some support. So I cut off some pieces of plywood that I had lying around with a jigsaw and I smoothed the edges and straightened them up a little bit with a file, a flat file. I don't want the edges to be too sharp and uh, also not the corners. And on the one of the long edges I really rounded it with the file so that when I lay my wrist on it it's not gonna be dingy in there. After using the file, I also used a little bit of sandpaper, so it's a bit more smooth, also on the top surface. I cut some pieces of wood that I had lying around with my jeweler saw. You can use any saw, but these are such uh, small pieces of wood that I find it's good enough. And uh, these are a little bit chunky, but this is what I had lying around. It seemed uh, good enough height for my project. And I'm also making a quite lar large bridge, so I use a taller one. It's skinnier, but it, it's taller. I also need to file the edges a bit straight and not so sharp. And I have simply glued these pieces of wood onto the boards. Maybe it's a bit safer to nail them or screw them on also, but I didn't have small enough nails or screws at the moment, so for now this will do. And maybe we'll get to that later. I can always do that later. So yeah, just a little bit of glue and I friction glued it on, so I rub it a little bit so that the glue sets a bit better. Your fingertips are pretty sensitive, so you can just feel if you are straight in there, clean off the excess. I could just have left it this way, but I decided to turn it around, which made it move a little bit, but I wanted to put some weight on top to dry, so I adjusted it a little bit more again, and then put a, a little weight on it. You can leave this as is, but I prefer to give some finishing. I'm using shellac, which is an alcohol-based uh, lacquer. I really like to use this one because I don't even need to clean the brush. I can just soak it in next time I want to use it. And it softens again. And it doesn't have uh, noxious fumes or anything. I make them from flakes. So I really like to use it. It's not 100% uh, waterproof, but I'm not soaking these anywhere, so a little bit of water will not bother it too much. 
so I just give it a one thin layer sand it off a little bit when it's, once it's dry which takes really just a few minutes it acts also as a sealer and then I can add more layers This sandpaper is 280 grit, but just nothing too abrasive, it's not necessary, it's just to smoothen it a little bit. And then I apply shellac to the base and the legs. The end grain always absorbs more uh, finish, so you have to put a little bit more there and that's also where the humidity gets absorbed by the wood, so to avoid movement it's important to finish the end grain. And then I added a few more layers onto the surface, which gets more wear than the other parts. And they're ready, ready to use once they're dry. So I hope you find this video useful, maybe you will find the bridges useful if you need to work in some larger items, especially if you are going to be wet packing and it takes a while, so your arm gets tired, your wrist starts hurting. So hope you enjoyed and see you soon, bye!